Today we're going to take a look at the Sense Solar Clamps. Now these clamps also double up. You can use them for independent circuit monitoring, uh, either one 240 volt or uh, two uh, 110 or 120 volt. Now right out of the gate I noticed that these sensors also have a safety clip which uh, keeps them from opening up, giving you an accurate reading, which I really like. To install these things, you're gonna have to go inside the panel box and pop that open, and we'll have, also have to remove the cover. Now, word of caution here, if you're not an electrician or a licensed electrician, you probably shouldn't be doing this, like I probably shouldn't be doing this. Me, however, I'm going to be doing it anyway. Pop the two screws off the top and off the bottom to get my panel box exposed. Once I've got that open up, putting the actual clamps in is super easy. I just clamp it around the uh, two wires that I want to monitor the loads on. In my case, I'm gonna be monitoring my computer system, which is uh, stuff like a NAS, a backup, and there's all kinds of electronics, a router, the uh, fiber optic power box is back there, and I'm also gonna keep a watch on my hydroponics. Once I have them on, routing the wire is actually the biggest uh, deal to make sure that that's all cleaned up and looking good. I'll do the same for both, and then I'll pull the uh, sense box out of the bottom. Once I've got that box out, there's a cap on the end that needed to be popped out. I just used a flat screwdriver to pop that out. Now I'm not sure if you can hot plug these things, so I did turn off the breaker for the sense device and I put the uh, wire inside, I plugged it in, and then I booted it back up just to make sure I wasn't gonna be burning out my sense box. After it's all neatly tucked back into place, I'm gonna go ahead and close that box up and see if I can connect to it. Now my first attempt here didn't work. Uh, I was actually at my desk, which is about uh, 25 or so feet away from the actual sense unit and the breaker box, and I got myself an error message. I did try to do this on the web app as well. It does not look like that's supported. You do have to do it through the app on your phone or your device. So I head back over to the breaker room and we'll try it again there. As you can see here, it quickly detects the sense device and has no problem connecting to it this time. I'm going to select how many devices I want here. I want the two devices and I'm going to go ahead and name them up. Now one thing I learned here is it seems to make a difference which breaker you turn on first for the naming. I wasn't quite sure on how this worked. So uh, what I'd advise you to do is turn off both breakers and then once you get the first check mark there under starting setup then it'll tell you which breaker to turn on. Turn them on in the right sequence there. Maybe give it a couple of seconds in between. After I did that way, it named them properly or had the devices in the right sequence. And they'll show up right away underneath your devices tab. Now here's a little cool thing I did not know about these things. Uh, they actually show up with your always on usage as well. So here you can see that. And this showed up the next day. So my computer and my hydroponics both have an always on usage, which is awesome because my always on is something I've been working on chiseling that down to save power in the house as well. 